it's Camilla here from Creative Moms Decant. So today I'm going to show you how to get started making your very first keychain. I'm going to talk to you about the tools you need, what kind of acrylic to get, what kind of sealant to get, or no sealant, and give you some tips and tricks along the way. Let's get started. You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me. We have to start with acrylic blanks, right? So the first thing I want to show you is my amazing storage container. I picked this up on sale all, like a year ago from Hobby Lobby, and just recently they had them on sale again, and I picked another one up. I am a blank collector. This container is perfect. I want to show you a few of the acrylic blanks I keep on hand. So I have these rounded rectangles. They can be sold to a customer at any time, so I always keep them on, on hand. And now the new trend is actually to kind of pair a bigger keychain with a smaller keychain. So these are even still on trend. They have been since I started, and I keep them on hand, obviously. Um, round ovals are another one, same thing. Those can be turned into almost anything for anyone. So I definitely like those. For my area, I keep Missouri blanks. So I am central Missouri, um, so it really does, they sell great for me and they make amazing gifts. So I keep Missouri blanks on hand and these are perfect for just doing vinyl. And we'll talk about what just vinyl is in just a minute. I'm gonna pull out a Missouri blank, we might want that. I haven't done one for a while, so. And a while meaning like a couple weeks. I saw one a couple weeks ago and it was done um, with red for like cardinals. Okay, so the other things I keep in these are seasonal or things that I'm working on creating. And it just makes a really nice container. Mason jars are another one I keep. I'm, I'm low on those, I'm gonna have to order them soon. But I keep on hand, they're very popular for my little country area. Um, the container is the star of this show, and of course the acrylic blanks, and I have moved from Amazon to 100% Craft Chameleon um, blanks. I am an affiliate of Craft Chameleon, so I want to get that out of the way, but I was a customer way before I became an affiliate. So, um, but their blanks are just a little bit thicker, and they, that means I don't have to add as much resin, which is the expensive product, and they come in every shape and size. Like seriously, you can actually request from them a shape and size that you would like. Isn't that so cool? So I will link them below. I'll talk about them several times as we go out this. Um, Keychains is what made me find Craft Chameleon. So, all right, let me slide this out of the way. All right, next thing we wanna talk about here. Oh, why I'm on acrylic blanks. I pulled this out because I didn't have any on hand right now. But you can also buy uh, like printed acrylic blanks. You can buy fully covered in glitter acrylic blanks. So again, this is a CSD acrylic blank for engraving. Um, I will um, drop a comment below with my engraving video um, in case you're interested in that. And but you can buy this in keychain acrylic too, in the shape and size. So, you know, the beehive small and not with this, this is made to put in a light. But I wanted to show you how cool the print it is because all I did was engrave this, which I think is really cool. And you can get that in a keychain. So let's talk about acrylic blanks. So wherever you order them from, if you're wanting to start um, very cheap and to try it, you can get some blanks from Amazon. However, I will tell you, they're just, they're thin and they're not great. I have one of my first, come here. And so that would be this one. And they're just thinner. They are, you could, you could pile on the epoxy, but they're just, they feel more cheap. Where these blanks definitely feel more professional and um, I would never go back to the Amazon blanks again. For sure not for selling. Um, so the thicker blanks is what I like. Um, and they all come with a protective coating that you have to remove, all right? So now we've talked blanks. Let's talk about epoxy. So UV resin is my favorite. Um, I've got keychain videos, it's no secret. UV resin is what I use all the time. 
and I have tried three different brands, two before this one of UV resin, and this one is my favorite. And it truly is my favorite because it cures really nicely underneath my light. It does have way less bubbles to work out than any other brand. Um, you actually have to, it's thick, so you actually have to take it to the edge and make and then it it stays there and so you won't have shrinking it will you can take it to the edge of your blank and it will stay there um, also uh, the other two kinds of resin that I have tried have turned yellow after about a year so in the and I don't have one I threw them away way before I even decided to start telling people about my love for keychains but you can, I think a friend of mine still has one, but um, you can see yellowing through, uh, in the UV resin of some of the other two brands. And uh, so I've been using this one for over a year now and it does not yellow at least in a year. So that's where I'm at on that. And um, it cures really nicely underneath my light. I will talk about my UV light when I, when I get there. Um, but UV resin is an amazing way to get started and um, really and truly, Craft Chameleons is affordable. Um, this is a big bottle, but you can buy a smaller bottle of it for 15 bucks, and a smaller bottle for two-inch round circles, circle keychains, give or take, will do 50. Um, I think I'll say between 40 and 50. Um, I we had to kind of guesstimate, guesstimate because I was doing some bigger and smaller ones, but I made 37 keychains. So, and some of them were big ones. Um, so anyway, uh, big UV resin person, which is why I've switched to the big bottle. That's This is what I do. Um, epoxy. Let's talk two-part epoxy. So it's where I started. And for some reason, life keeps leading me back to it. Um, recently, I started using tumblers, so I had to buy it again. And I still, I mean, I don't want to say I hate it, but I still don't like it. It has a place. In my opinion, it does not have a place for a key on keychains. You have to mix it up. You have to use everything you mix up. And it's if you didn't get enough, you have to mix up more. Um, so it's just not my favorite thing for keychains. The place it belongs is on tumblers because you cannot use UV resin on tumblers. And it also belongs in resin poured items. So if you're going to resin pour dark items like seashells, I've done that, um, then it, it definitely belongs in that place. Um, so it has its place, but not here. My hands are sticky. I don't like it. I love my UV resin. So let's talk the items to put your keychains together. All right. Essential items would be keychain hardware. Um, so you just want the circle and the links and I like these. These are easy to, I mean, none of them are easy to come, to par come apart, right? But they're easy to come apart. And um, they are not a heavy, heavy weight, but they're not a cheap weight. So I've ordered some from Amazon that are a cheap weight, and I don't like them. In fact, this is it right here. And you can see the huge difference even in the camera. So this one is definitely a more professional look, and I'm a big fan of it. All right. You also are going to need some jump rings, depending on how you're putting things together. Um, you have a couple options here. I like to use these big oval jump rings to attach the acrylic blank to the keychain hardware. Um, again, it's just a classier look. I've seen a lot of people use um, like the oval jump rings that are for more for jewelry, and they'll they will fall apart. Where these do have a place on keychains and will save you a little money is if you wanted to add the tassel. This one is just strung on here. Um, but if you wanted to add the tassel, then you could use a jewelry um, oval hook, an oval jump ring. Um, but I do recommend these big hardware um, jump rings for attaching the acrylic blank. So those two and the acrylic blank and your resin are so far your essential items. If you are using, I'm going to slide my light here forward. If you are using um, the two-part epoxy, you do not need a light. Um, for uh, UV resin, you need a light. And I'm going to tell you, I've been through a lot. Um, 
because of who who knows what. I'm hard on things and I use it all the time, every day, all day. So I've had three different brands in the house and I this is my favorite. I actually own two of these now and I love them both. So this is a 120 watt nail light and it has 10, 30, 60, and 99 seconds. I can put my keychain under here with basic coloring and my UV resin, 99 seconds, and it's done. So one side is done. It does depend on what you're putting on there. Um, so, you know, you can mention that in the comments, but, you know, I'll add it here too. Um, so if you're using lots of resin or makeup powder or things like that, which I am showing um, on all kinds of, uh, you know, videos on this channel, um, but you'll have a little bit different heating method, but for basic, um, it's one time in this light, and I absolutely love this light. 120 watts is the key wattage for keychains. Um, so it, it just, it's a great um, UV light, and you need 120 watts. You really do. You can do it under slow um, UV lights and do it several times, and you can also cure it in the sunlight. It is going to take longer. So just so you know, and this is not an expensive item. It's not expensive at all. I'll link it below. All right, so those really and truly cover your basics. Um, your vinyl, your glitter, your embellishments. I pulled these out. These are fun little embellishments that I get sometimes for my keychains. Those are all optional tools. I don't know if I'm going to put those in the optional or not. Um, so let's talk tools for a moment. These oval jump rings are best if you twist them this way, so side the, the, to side to side, if I'm holding the oval jump ring, and you, because you don't want to pull apart, you don't want to pull them apart, You'll, you will weaken them. So they are best if you pull them forward and backward. So that's where these needle nose pliers come in, and my husband completely picks on me about these, which is great, because he leaves them alone. But these are perfect, Craft Chameleon does sell them. They are cheap, very, very cheap, and essential okay so you you can grasp this oval hook or any for jewelry or anything on each side and slide it open like that you put your keychain hardware in and you slide it back open or back closed and so i definitely the needle nose pliers are essential i also have big old you know i guess they're cummins pliers because well my husband's a mechanic so um and always into wrenching um, and they look terrible. But a good set of pliers is a good thing to have on. You definitely don't need one as sturdy as mine. Um, also for keychains, I do like to have tweezers handy. Um, these are the Cricut uh, tweezers. They're okay in my opinion. Um, and they're, they're what I've been using lately. Um, and then of course I always recommend um, my Cricut weeding tool because I love this thing. The razor blade and all the picks are amazing. So I also recommend rubbing alcohol. It helps with bubbles in UV resin, and it also helps to keep things cleaned up and you know ready for non-greasy um, applications of vinyl. So rubbing alcohol, I definitely recommend. So you all, that's it. It is that simple to get started making your very first DIY keychain, your resin or your epoxy, acrylic blanks, a little bit of hardware, maybe some pliers, and you will be on your way to making amazing creations. Just a few that I've made and held on to. I love my Leon. That's a Craft Chameleon Leon. If you have any other questions, give us a shout in the comments below. We always answer them. Isn't that cool? And also join our Creative Moms Decant Facebook group. We love to answer questions and you can share pictures there of what you're doing. Creative Moms Decant on Facebook. Thank you for joining me today. Have a joyful day. Bye. With an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings, but now a